Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to part two for your February 2022 reading. Uh, this is part one, and if you haven't watched this yet, it is linked up in the pinned comment down below. So uh, make sure to check this out and uh, in part one. But we're just going to clarify through here. Uh, with that wheel card, you have the October card. So uh, around October, there could be some sort of change coming in for you. It is a time of change, October this year. I'm telling you right now, before we even get there, <laughs> there are going to be some great changes around the October time frame. So that makes perfect sense to me. I want to see what the next card is. You have this wreath card. It says sorrow over a loss. Mm, I, I just feel like there is a lot of loss at this time in general. We're going through uh, a major transition right now in the energy and we even see this with the world card the world card as your center card it's like the world card is like a birth it is like being pu pushed through the squeeze as i always say it's like you're being birthed out the other side so you know i feel like that's what's going on there uh, i also clarify the other side you have the ninth house it says exploration world wheel of fortune i mean all these cards are cards of exploration so it would be a good time for you to explore new things new places new ideas right now with the King of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Cups. Love it. Ten of Cups is fortune after difficulty. So I do feel like there are a lot of benefits and uh, just good things coming in for you with the Ten of Cups. So a lot of happiness coming in. Probably long-term happiness with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, he wants something long-term. He wants something that lasts. And we even go down to the Hierophant. And the Hierophant, he kind of wants the same thing. He wants, um, you know, kind of things that last this doesn't just have to be in love, by the way. Uh, this could be in any area of your life. With the Emperor, you have the Ace of Cups. So clearly a love offer coming in for you. Uh, you're like the second sign that has had a very like strong love energy going on. So, you know, if you're looking for love, there definitely could be a love opportunity. Could be from an Aries, of course, coming in for you. If you're not looking for love, this would be an opportunity that you do love, uh, especially with that carrot card right next to the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. You have this carrot card and it says an, an opportunity for or windfall. So clearly there is like a very successful opportunity coming in for you. And with the Queen of Cups, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely time for you to get to work on this opportunity. Knight of Pentacles being too cautious. And so I feel for a lot of you that there, this could be like too much cautious energy, especially if you're working towards something new, which again, if you go this way to the world, to the Page of Cups, it's like there could be new opportunities for you, not just in love, but other areas of your life. The Page of Cups could be multiple opportunities as well. You know, it could be like love in a business. It could be love in work opportunities. I would be jumping on those opportunities. Again, I feel like you're becoming a unicorn, like I said in the first reading. <laughs> uh, I know that sounds ridiculous, but what I mean by that is I feel like you're becoming more unique. You're you're kind of like breaking the mold. You're becoming your own person. Uh, with the unicorn, you have the wishbone. It says a wish granted on it. So there is clearly a wish coming in for you um, with the wishbone. I feel like you're kind of experiencing some fulfillment here as well, I'm getting. So I definitely like to see that. Uh, for your middle row card, you have the dog. It says companionship if you're looking for love. Clearly, this is a very good love reading. Uh, I feel like there could be companionship or companion coming in for you, someone who really wants to commit, somebody who wants something permanent uh, with this energy. So I definitely like to see that. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Eight of Wands, quick success and you know good things coming in for you. So I just really feel quick success on this card. Oh, uh, that's it. <laughs> I just feel like there's good things. I, I feel like there's communication coming in as well. Uh, this here would obviously be communication from a person, uh, from like an admirer, and even have the bouquet over here. So it's like someone is coming in, telling you that they're interested in you. Uh, just intuitively, I kind of feel weird because for some of you, I feel like you are already dealing with this person, Gemini. Um, so again, if you're dealing with a person, maybe it's like a situation chip, maybe it just hasn't gotten off the ground, maybe it just hasn't progressed to the level that you want it to yet. Um, I feel like that's coming. You know, it's like this is saying, I feel like this is something that has already started for some of you, maybe not all of you, but for some of you. And it, it's like kind of building the energy. With the world, you have the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Five of pentacles is like feeling left out in the cold, but there's a church on the card here. And the church represents a place of sanctuary, represents a place of safety and security and comfort and protection. So I feel this card is saying, do not call attention to your weaknesses for the most part. And, um, you know, I'd focus on your strengths. I also feel 
again with the world card it's like you're being born it's like when you're being born you're being pushed through a tight squeeze and so when we're going through the birthing process you know i always say with the world the world can represent being stuck in the squeeze it's like you just haven't popped out the other side yet so it's like you might be feeling at this moment like you're lacking something in your life that you're actually not lacking you just feel like it because uh, you just haven't been born into the new world yet you just haven't been pushed out to the other side and that's kind of like what i feel here with the two of wands, you have the chariot. Clearly a victory coming in for you, major victory, I would say. So I do feel that there is a victory and some sort of success coming in for you. Chariot really wants us to watch our vibration. You know, he has these stars up here and these moons on his shoulders. It kind of represents as above, so below. So we need to be very careful with the chariot. We need to make sure that we're kind of giving off the right vibrations. We need to make sure that we're paying attention to what's going on around us. Uh, with the rooster, you have the carriage. It says a journey, either physical or mental. I said this at the beginning of reading. I'm pretty sure that you could be going on a journey. So there could be a journey, travel, uh, pretty much anything like that going on for you. And I feel like if you're going on a journey, it's going to be a victory because you have that chariot card as well, uh, which definitely looks really good to me. Uh, your last card on this side, you have the sun. It says source on it. So clearly a lot of warmth, a lot of happiness coming in for you. I could use a little warm for right now. My my hands are freezing. <laughs> you don't you don't know this because you're not here, but it's about two degrees in here. My hands, I, I, I can feel my hands can't even close. <laughs> so wish me luck on finishing your reading here, Gemini. Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the Two Wands. Yeah, um, again, I feel like you're going somewhere you've never been before. That's kind of like, there's like an element of protection here. With the Two Wands, he's standing at the top of a castle. If you have love coming in, it's like you could be trying to protect yourself from something that you don't need to protect yourself from. I'm not saying that we should be super, super open with a person we just met, right? I think we need to do things in balance, of course. But it's like if you're going to be with a person, you have to be willing to open up and be vulnerable with them at some point, right? So I do feel like this is saying that you might be a little bit, I do get like a little bit of an overprotective feeling of yourself. And again, I totally understand it. I understand not wanting to get hurt in a potential relationship or whatever, but this looks like it's going in a good direction. And I always tell people, it's like, as long as you're giving in balance and you're receiving also in balance, then keep moving forward. As long as you are as long as you don't give out of balance, then you'll be fine. Um, and it doesn't matter how much you give as long as you're also receiving. Um, I think it's when we overgive, which you know I think us spiritual people tend to overgive in relationships. Um, it's when we do that, that we get hurt. So I feel like this is saying, do things in balance. That's a weird message to get on the two of wands, but that's what I'm getting. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Seven of Cups. I would just stay focused on exactly what you want with the Seven of Cups. Everybody's been getting the Seven of Cups. It's a card of being spoiled for choice, but again, it also does say, you know, make sure to focus on what you do want, not on what you don't want, and you will get what you want. <laughs> and that's that there, Gemini. And with the um, with the Hierophant, you have the lovers. Definitely could be marriage. I mean, you can't get away from it. Clearly, for some of you, this is a love reading. Uh, if you're not looking for love, I feel like this could be a crossroads reading uh, because you have the chariot and the lovers. I th I'm pretty sure one of the other signs also had a very similar crossroads reading. Um, I would just say pick the new path, pick the new direction. That's clearly going to be more successful for you. Um, let's just get nosy. Uh, because I can, and uh, I just want to learn about this new direction. If this isn't about love for you, Gemini, where's this new direction? Death card. Yeah, I mean, like, again, we were talking about this with the world card, how you're being born. It's like you're being born into a new world. I feel like you're being pushed into a new world with that world card as well. So, you know, it kind of gives me those vibes of, um, you know, uh, a birth reading, a rebirth reading, whatever you want to call it. Um, I feel like you're probably changing as a person. We talked about this with that unicorn card. It's like you're becoming more unique. You're doing things that make you stand out more. Um, you know, it can be a little bit scary. It's like when you, if you're, you know, standing out and you're not like everybody else, it makes you stand out. So that opens you up for things like criticism and, you know, all sorts of stuff. So it's like, I think when we become a unicorn in life, <laughs> Uh, you know, it can be a little bit nerve wracking because it's like we stand out, we're different, we become a target for good and bad things. I would just focus on the good. Uh, yeah, but you have the uh, Three of Swords next. Again, let go of the past. A uh, major past energy coming up in these readings. You're not the only person. Three of Swords is about forgiveness. Those swords are basically in your own heart, Gemini. And it does say, you know, it's time to pull those swords out when and forgive the past. That doesn't mean you're forgetting. That doesn't mean you're, um, you know, you're letting someone off the hook. It means you're forgiving 
a person or a situation so you can move on, so you can move forward and just kind of like let it go. So that's what I feel like is going on there. And finally, you have the Ten of Pentacles, uh, the ultimate outcome. Ten of Pentacles, really good. Um, you know, happiness. You, I love getting the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in a reading. You have both here. Ten of Pentacles is basically everything. Why won't this switch? There we go. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. It is getting everything you want in your life. So I feel like this is what you are heading towards. Really good reading. A lot of happiness coming in for you as well. So I like this, Gemini. Uh, thank you for being here, Gemini. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Uh, also, feel free to uh, watch your... What, did I already say that? Probably. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So thank you for being here. Part one, again, is linked up down below if you haven't watched it already. But uh, thank you for being here, Gemini. Really appreciate it. And definitely enjoy your month.